Hey guys, what's up? Ty Ty the Gamer Guy here, and welcome back to some more Kirby's Star Allies? Yeah, even I'm a little surprised by this. See, it turns out in the last episode, I lied to you guys by saying we were officially done. So yeah, I lied without knowing I was telling a lie. And the reason for that is because the very last update came out, I think, in very late November. And not only did it add the last few Dream Friends, but it also added a brand new mode. Which is right here. Heroes in Another Dimension. This mode, to sum it up, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And if you're looking for a good challenge in a Kirby game, this is definitely the place to go. Although, I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but I'm assuming it is, considering this mode takes place directly after the end of the main story. You probably can't play this until after you beat the main game, but anyway. In the lower right corner, you can see my personal record. And yes, I played this on my off-screen because I was just too excited about it. That, and when the update came out, I actually couldn't record at all, so yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I just had dinner before I started recording. And I guess that anyway is, uh, once again, I'm uh, sorry about being on hiatus for much too long. It's seriously been way too long since I've recorded. There's just been, uh, there's of course, there's been some changes going on in my, pers in my personal life. Some of them I may not particularly like. They didn't necessarily affect my recording, my ability to record, but they affected my comfortability to record. But I think I'm getting back in gear with it. Anyway, let's see if I can beat my own personal record. It will, in that end, just adulting just sucks. I'm trying to get my driver's license, so uh, yeah. Anyway, enough about my personal life and why I've been on hiatus for, for much too long. Let's see if I can beat my own personal record. So yeah, sorry you won't be seeing my, you know, my initial reaction to this mode because I've already played through it all. And believe me, it's a doozy. People wanted to challenge the Star Allies, they definitely got it. And as you can see, we are at the Jam Bastion uh, base, I think is what it's called. Took directly place after the main game, and we had this little portal over here. And we only have five lives again. Yee. And we have zero hearts again. Let's go into this portal. And see where it takes us. Spoiler alert, it takes us to another dimension, which is right here. And this is actually the very same place from uh, Return to Dreamland. So that's a bit of a nice soldier right there. And we have some really cool music too. This place just looks very pretty. Anything down here? And as you can see, there are th we have, there are 30 hearts in this first portal. There are there are four portal portals in total, technically five, but only four of them have hearts. And each of them, like here, only have 30 hearts per level. And I'm just gonna say this right now, unless unless this is unless this is your second time playing and you're just trying to beat your high score, I highly recommend you get as many hearts as you can because believe me, getting at least 100 is incredibly worth it. You will find out what that is later. And let's go ahead and befriend Bomb because we're gonna need some allies with us anyway. And I haven't used Fighter. It's been quite a while since I played Star Allies, so might be a little bit rusty. Competitive Kirby coming to Genesis and Evo. That would actually be pretty amazing if that actually was a thing. Like if they made like a second Kirby Fighters game, but but with all but like with all the Dream Friends and stuff. And right here is a little bit tricky. Let's see. At the time it rails, Poppy Bros Jr. is gonna get squished. Let's see. Now, there we go. Puzzle pieces in another heart. So far, so good. Boosh! I missed them. Okay. Another one right over here. Again, we have to time it perfectly. Let me up. There we go. All right, Poppy Bros, ready to get? Um, I was gonna make a want to get hammer joke with that. It would have came. It would have come out weird, and you know the YouTube monetization probably wouldn't have been happy with me, even though I'm not currently able to be to monetize my videos. 
I'm mean, speaking of monetization. Nintendo finally got rid of their stupid of their stupid Nintendo Creators program. To sum things up, is that you would only receive like a portion of the revenue if you were to sign up for it. But you would only be able to upload content from their games. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to use it to do it yeah, to do my Sonic Heroes Let's Play and stuff like that. And just all around, and just all around is just that it just sucked to have your videos claimed, like Kirby Star Allies, by Nintendo every upload. But now that it's gone, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So thank God for that. Oh boy. And as you can see right here, we're using a bandana water. I know I'm a little bit late on this, but... The other big gimmick of this mode is that we're going to be using every dream friend. This first portal is mainly going to be focusing on... Basically, like, the base game launch... Base game dream friends that, you know, that were... <coughs> excuse me, that were playable at the launch of the game. In other words, bandana water, D, meta knight, and king of DDD. And we need fire right here. We don't want to ignite this just yet, I don't think. We want to get on the other side, if memory serves me correct. I haven't gotten all of the stars, as you can see from my from my personal save file. Cause some of the cause some of them really are are hard to get, I won't lie. And yep, I was right. Boom. Hop in here. I'm gonna leave Poppy Bros Jr. and Burning Leo behind. Kids wanna make sure I'm still I'm still recording, because that would have sucked to have gone that I would have gone this far and only to find- oh boy. Oh wait, no, I wasn't ready. Uh, this is bad. This- oh wait, maybe, maybe not. Maybe this isn't bad. Oh wait, oh boy! Oh. Come on. Now! There we go, I think I did it. Oh, yep, I did it. I failed this so many times in my personal playthrough. <laughs> in three hearts! Noise! So that worked out pretty nice. Oh yeah, now speaking of which is, is that um the original base game Green Friends, they all got a new attack. Bandit and Waddle Dee in particular has this dashing attack. It goes pretty far. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, this part. Okay, hold on. Come on, don't want to get squished. Burning Leo, don't do it. Come on. Oh. Um, nicely hidden switch right behind there by that one block. Oh boy! Ah, uh, rest in peace. Oh well, <laughs> what you gonna do? Oh boy! You know what? Chopper time! Boom! God, being in a wild water deal is a lot of fun to play. And right here, as you can see by that portrait, we have the Holy Lord himself, King DDD. If you don't know me already, King DDD is my favorite Kirby character in the in the series. And I'm pretty sure that the anime alone was the one that was the, basically the thing that made me choose decide on that. Uh, I gotta be like, I honestly, I love the Kirby anime, as generic as that might sound. Because of just how, just just because of how memey it is to do, um, from today's standards, but still. But anyway, enough about the Kirby anyway. It's time to play Kirby, not watch Kirby. And boom, hitting those enemies with an electric attack will always kill them. And we got a race to the finish, Smash Brothers style. And there we go. I mean, this one coming up is a little bit tricky as well. There are three switches here. Well, not switches, but like three stumps you have to hit. Let's see. One. Two. Oh, no! No, no! no! Oh, I missed three hearts. Damn it. I got that one on my personal save file, too. And right here we have Meta Knight. Cue Spanish accent. And uh, uh water. Hmm. I think we needed we need water anyway, so let's do it. 
uh, dribbly. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> there we go. Uh, he's a slow learner, I'll be honest. And let's fly! Uh, wrong way, man, tonight. Oh, this part. I remember this. You have to race to the top without being squished. Kill that thing. Whoops. No. I killed the wrong thing, then I got hit. You know, Meta Knight also has a new... Oh, I forgot to show a DDD move. Oh, to sum it up, DDD has his super DDD jump move from Smash, basically. Well, Meta Knight, I'll show it at... Ow. I'll show it after we get out of uh, this. Come on. Alright. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. We have plenty of time. Boom. See, Meta, Meta Knight has a counter move now, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can... Another one of these, I want to show his counter move. Die. Die. Get that puzzle piece. Meta Knight, I really wish you could move faster. Well, I guess, I, I just kind of wish that Kirby, that the characters in this game could just move faster in general. Alright. Now let's fly. That was anticlimactic. Do 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 do. I have a feeling we're gonna need a chili. Let's see. Oh, this thing. We have like a very, like a brief. What you call it? A horde of enemies. This has to looks like it would be a nice stage for um. A uh, smash. Oh god. Oh, Chef Kawasaki, or Chef Egg, as I should call him. If memory serves me right, I think we will actually want to keep Chef Kawasaki on our team, because he will be very valuable to us in an upcoming boss fight. Not this upcoming boss fight, but in a later upcoming boss fight. And anyone who's played this mode probably knows what I'm talking about. Oh no, Dribbly! There we go. Let's get rid of Waddle Do. Got this key. There are a couple of these where you have to where you have to not kill the enemy carrying the key. I, I, I killed that one on accident. And sorry if I sound a little bit awkward with my commentary, because it's been a while a while since I've done this. But you know. And now we are back to Kirby. Boring. Oh, wait a minute. We need Cutter, I think. Maybe. Yeah, I think we do. Wait, hold on. Eh, let's recruit him, recruit him. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, I know there's a puzzle. Uh, coming up, or I think it might not be in this portal, but I know there's one coming up where um, we need to have Cutter. Uh, let's get rid of Dribbly, because he's almost dead. Anyway, hype train time! Oh, uh, hype bridge time, excuse me! Oh, I think I know what's coming up. Oh, uh, yep, it's this part. We have, to, we have to be careful to not kill the thing holding the key. Okay, kill him. And there we go. That wasn't so bad. Oh, there we go, and that's why we need fire to burn the ice. Or melt the ice. Ooh, and our thingamajig of Dream Friend Rod, and... Oh boy, spoiler alert, as you can probably see there for a split second. Anyway, let's recruit Gooey. He's not exactly the one that I wanted, but uh, let's keep him anyway. Let's get rid of Chili. And he's green. And Hype Bridge uh, time again. Sk skip that. <laughs> oh, yep, this one. This one's a bit of a doozy. Okay, that one's dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. Oh boy. 
Oh, that one's dead. Okay. That's good. Come on, die. Die. There we go. Actually, it wasn't that bad as I remembered it being. Melt that. And boosh. We get another draw and dream friend rod. Yep. Let's do it. And it's... Marks. Good old Marks. Gotta love them, even though you can't trust them. Uh, get rid of Gooey. <laughs> so Gooey's time was very short-lived. I, wa I want to keep uh, Sir Kibble because we need him for an upcoming um, puzzle. And I want to keep him come Kawasaki, or I guess, uh, Chef... No, he's not... Uh, Chef Lemon. Yeah, Chef Lemon is what I called him during my playthrough of the main game. And I want to keep him because he might be pretty valuable to us in the final stage. And, does this look familiar? Another dream rod. I don't want to get that just yet. And I'm gonna, I wanted to keep fire. <laughs> oh, here's fire. And speaking of fire... Light him up, boys! Sizzle marks, and... Sizzle cutter. We're not exactly the Sizzle Squad because Chef Kawasa or Chef Lemon, excuse me, cannot, you know, take elements. But yeah, close enough. You need fire to cook usually, so I guess that'll count. And here's our first boss. Look familiar? Otherworldly Arbor Parallel Woods. So yeah, this is basically what they're doing. We're going to be fighting basically just parallel versions of previous bosses. Obviously, they are much harder. And as I get sucked in right there. Parallel Woods, even though he's supposed to be a harder version of Wispy Woods, he's not really that tough. I mean, there's not many many of the Wispy wood, Woods type bosses that actually are challenging. Yep. Twice now. Alright, fine, Parallel Woods, I take it back. You're more challenging than Wispy. Even though you're still kind of easy. And just like Wispy Woods, he is weak to fire. So make sure you have a fire ability when going in here. And phase two. <laughs> Rip Burning Leo. And do the Burning Inferno attack, or some heavy damage. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, he, he does the stomping attack a lot or a lot earlier than Wispy and Yugi Woods, and oh no. Yo, he landed on he landed on Chef Lemon, I can't save him. And he killed him. Okay, Wisp okay, with Parallel Woods, excuse me. I take it back, you're a lot harder than Wispy. You don't need to do this. Come on. Ugh. And apparently there was an update for Rocket League. <laughs> now it's not the time. There we go. I was not expecting to have that much of a hard time on Parallel Woods of all things. I mean, even though I've already said this enough. Dancing alone because all my friends got killed. And got 27 hearts so far. And puzzle piece. This one's for Triple Deluxe, and thank God that there's another Triple Deluxe painting because the one in the base game was so disappointing and just underwhelming. It just looks so plain looking, basically. Alright, and continue. And now the other three portals have opened up. From here on out, we can just go in any order we wish, but I'm just gonna go in, you know, down the line. So, I'm gonna be going in this one in the next episode. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.